I'm Allison Sweeney, and we are live at the Biggest Loser Ranch, where tonight, history will be made. Meet Wayne. A little over two years ago, he weighed 674 pounds, more than any contestant we've ever had. Inspired by The Biggest Loser, he lost more weight than anyone in the history of the show, and he did it completely on his own. Later tonight, he is going to stand on this scale and reveal his record-breaking results live. The Biggest Loser starts right now. It's a new week and it's down to nine right now and I'm really excited about that because that's just closer and closer I get to be at the end, being the final four. Because half the players are now gone. Jake. So it's Patty. Then Maria. Black team votes for Magdalia. I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. Good luck to you, John. Melissa, I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser. Daryl, I'm sorry to tell you that it's time to say goodbye. Voted for Mickey. It's for Cheryl. My choice tonight is Jim. With three votes, Lance, you are not the biggest loser. And it's time for you to say goodbye. My whole focus has changed recently. I want to win this. It's encouraging to me that now I can really actually win this. I can make it to the end. Hey, everyone. Hi. Come on in. This is shaping up to be an epic competition. The nine of you arrived three months ago. Four of you have lost over 100 pounds each, and I'm sure you don't want to put back on any of the weight that you were carrying when you arrived here on the first day. But I do have something for you from your first day that you might want to put back on. We're going to singles. Congratulations. Whoa. Sunshine, O'Neal, come on up. Get your shirts. Congratulations. So we're going to singles. Now there's a yellow line. If you fall below the yellow line, you might be going home. So it's every man for themselves. There's no more riding the coattails of your team. This is individuals. This is where you really have to work and prove that you can keep up and stay here and be one of the final four with me. Congratulations. Being a single, it's great because there was no control as teams. It's all up to me. I don't have to be concerned about everyone else and what they're doing and how they're losing weight. Good job, you guys. Woo! You are singles. That gray shirt never looks so good. Well, you all look great. And you certainly have come a long way since that first day. And you have a lot to be proud of. In fact, I can guarantee you this. The next biggest loser is in this gym. I just can't guarantee that it will be one of you. In fact, it could be any one of these people, too. The door's open, and there are all the eliminated contestants standing with game face. I see everyone, I'm in shock. And they look mean. I am not good with change. Game on. Bring it. Oh, I mean, they actually look angry. You're not going to beat me. Someone's coming back. Before the night is over, every one of those eliminated contestants will have a chance to get back in this game. So let's get started. Candidly, I don't want anyone back. You know, I have worked very hard 
to be where I'm at. And I've had a lot of ups and downs, but I'm not ready to go from nine to 10. So welcome back, everyone. Right now, you are going to have the chance to earn a spot back on campus. We're gonna put you on the scale, but your weight loss won't determine who makes it back on campus. For the first time in Biggest Loser history, the person who makes it back on campus will be determined by the remaining competitors. Not the scale. Your fate will be determined by a simple vote. It's basically going to be a popularity vote. A lot of my best friends that were on the show are, are still in this house. So, you know, I look out there and I'm like, I've got this. I, I, I have this in the bag. Each of the eliminated players will have the chance to plead your case on the scale. They'll each weigh in. After you have the results, you'll get some time to explain to them why you think you should make it back on campus. Be persuasive because everyone else has the same opportunity. I have no relationship with these people. They don't know who I am. They know my name, and that's it. We have not talked. We have not conversated. What would make them want to pick me? The only person you can't vote for is your former teammate. The person who receives the most votes is back in this game. Gosh, that's crazy! Voting-wise, I don't have a snowball's chance in hell. Remember, they're voting for their next competitor. Someone who could take the grand prize away from you. My only chance is to try and convince them that I'm not a threat and they need to feel threatened. As you all can see, Migdali is not here. Unfortunately, her husband was sent to Iraq and uh, she had to stay home, take care of her kids, so she isn't able to be with us here today. But everyone standing before you is eligible to make it back in this game. Are you all ready to get started? Yes. yes. All right, we're gonna start this way and First, we are going to weigh in Daryl. I was eliminated uh, week six at home. I busted it out. I never gave up. Daryl, when you started this competition, you weighed 413 pounds. Your current weight is. <laughs> Daryl, you lost 104 pounds. I'm asking for the chance to do it with you. In return, I've got something to give to help you in your journey, where iron sharpens iron. Red or no thread, iron sharpens iron. We need each other. Sherry, when you started this competition, you weighed 218 pounds. Your current weight is? You lost 62 pounds. My journey started anew here. You make me young. You make me feel young. I love you guys. Give me the chance to come and finish my journey with you. Miggy, when you started this competition, you weighed 240 pounds. Your current weight is? You lost 49 pounds, Miggy. I don't know how to ask for this, but I'm, I'm asking from the heart. And, um, and I know you guys are going to decide from the heart also. Victoria, you started this competition weighing 358 pounds. Your current weight is? Victoria, you lost 73 pounds. I packed my bags three times to come here, and every time I have to go home without even unpacking, without even getting a chance to be in the competition. And I'm asking you to give me an opportunity. I want this more than anything, and I'll be so grateful if you allow me that chance. Come on up, Melissa. This season is the anomaly because no one in this house looks at the big picture. No one in this house is looking for the quarter of a million dollars at the end. Everybody wants to be friends. It ain't time for friends. It's the latter part of this show, baby. Game on. Melissa, when you started this competition, you weighed 233 pounds. Your current weight is. You're on. Let me have the opportunity to come back here and finish my journey. Not one person out of you nine has to worry about me in terms of competition. I am the least threat to you. 
51 pounds. I don't have 50 pounds to go. Fans, when you started this competition, you weighed 365 pounds. Your current weight is... You know, I, I come to the ranch, I came just... I really had no idea what my purpose of being here was. And I learned over time that my purpose was to pay it forward. I mean, it, this was my chance to uh, to save my own life and go back and help my family that, that needs uh, that needs help as well. Cheryl, when you started this competition, you weighed 227 pounds. Your current weight is... love more than anything to come back and finish my weight loss and anything but to clean the kitchen. <laughs> but I would love to come back. John, it's your chance to get on the scale. Getting back in the house means everything. It means whatever we have to do, you know, I'm going to give it my best shot to get back here. John, when you started this competition, you weighed 484 pounds. Your current weight is... I feel like I need to kind of help inspire more. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that role means, but I'd be lying if I say I wouldn't absolutely love to be back here and I miss you guys like crazy. Next, we're gonna weigh in Patty. Patty, when you started this competition, you weighed 243 pounds. Your current weight is. My life has always been about others giving to others, and this is the first time it's been for me. Stephanie, I felt needed to stay here when we were up for elimination. I need to be here. Maria, when you started this competition, you weighed 281 pounds. Your current weight is. I worked really hard on, on trying to lose this weight, but I just kept thinking about my husband, my mom. You know, I've gone through a lot with my mom the last couple of weeks. And uh, I just find myself falling backwards. And I think being on the ranch, I only think about myself. And that's what I need to do. James, when you started this competition, you weighed 485 pounds. Your current weight is. <laughs> Let me give you a chance to talk to the players. Four. I didn't fight for myself. I fought for my brother because I thought that was in the best interest of the team. And at the time, it was in the best interest of the Brown team. But for the first time in my life, I'm asking for a chance. Um, that's something I never do for myself. I'm usually pretty giving. And uh, it, it's my turn, and I'm asking for that chance, please. Sharita, we're going to weigh you in next. I had to close my eyes and just breathe. The only thought was bringing Victoria back to this ranch. I didn't consider myself at all. When you started this competition, Sharita, you weighed 277 pounds. Your current weight is. When Victoria and I stood before our family and friends, we said failure was not an option. We have been here twice. And the first time, Victoria went home because I wasn't strong. The second time, we had fierce competition and they did a fabulous job. Please do not send her home this time. Give her an opportunity. Please allow my baby to stay. Please. Get the newest book now. The Biggest Loser, Six Weeks to a Healthier You. Lose weight, boost energy, and get healthy with six weeks of meal plans, recipes, and exercises. Go to BiggestLoser.com now. So, to all of you still in this game, it all falls to you. Everyone's weighed in. Have a chance to look at the scoreboard, see how they stack up by percentage of weight loss. But you also heard them talk. Heard them speak to you but why they want another chance on campus. When Allie first told us that we were going to be voting in a player, at that point, 
I knew who I was going to vote for. The couple people that I feel really closest in the house to have the chance to vote somebody on. Back Ellie on. says we have to vote back in a player in this house. I don't know. I mean, I don't want any of the game players back. So holding the fate of someone getting on the biggest squeezer is kind of feels like we're playing God. So we're going to have to find out what you decided, what each of you thought was the most important, who you wanted to bring back. We're going to hear from Ashley. Now that we have the vote, it's up to me and everyone else in the house to decide who we bring back. And that's going to determine a lot. You guys all look absolutely amazing. This is my chance to get to vote someone in that's going to help me make it to Final Four. This person I chose pushes me like crazy. And my vote is for John, because you always push me to be better, and I need that competition. O'Neal, you're next. As I was walking to make my vote, I was not confident that the, everyone else would see it as I did. I was really worried about them seeing it as a, as a game or as a competition or a threat. The person I voted for and the reason I voted for this person is this person didn't get a chance on this ranch. I voted for Victoria. Thank you. Darius, you're up. Daryl, when you said that steel sharpens steel, that's right on. That makes me go. That's a threat to me, but it's also something that's going to keep me going the entire time I'm here. It's time to hear from Stephanie. My vote is for a person who I feel has struggled, and um, it's about the numbers. And that person was on the bottom of the scale with 14%. My vote is for James. All right, we have four people with one vote each. Daryl, James, John, and Vicki. Next, we're going to hear from Sam. The person I'm voting for just reminded me so much of home. Uh, me and Coley only have each other. Uh, so anything that we could have that reminds us of home is something that we dearly hold on to. Uh, and at least that's, just, that's for me. Uh, the person I voted for equals you, John. Next, we're going to hear from Coley. You know, standing up here, I was trying to set up a criteria of things that I, you know, try to be fair and unbiased. And it was hard because everybody deserves to be here. Everybody wants to be here. But when it came down to it, I had to go with my heart on this one, and I voted for John. John, that's three votes for you. Vicky, you have one vote. James, you have a vote. And Daryl, you have one vote. John, if you have one more vote, then you make it back on campus. John has three votes, and Victoria has one. Oh my God, we're going home again. To go home for a third time would be devastating. I'm excited, I'm ready to walk up and just say, you know, thank you, it's great to be back in the house and uh, you know, this is awesome. It doesn't look good, it does not look good. There's three other people to go and unless these three people consecutively give me a vote, I'm not gonna be here and I'm going home yet again. Next up, we're gonna hear from Sunshine. I have been sent home before and I know what it feels like. And I didn't think um, this person got a chance to really be here a long time. So that's why I voted for Victoria to um, come back and have a chance in this house. That's two votes for you, Victoria. John, you have three votes. Next is Drea. The house feels kind of empty without everyone here. And as hard as it is to imagine, it's true. And tonight, I'm going to go to bed and say I feel like I did the right thing. So, Victoria, I hope you make it back. Thank you. It's a tie. We have one vote left. Please, God, please let her come back. What is going on? I, I, at first, I go from thinking, you know, I had this in the bag to all of a sudden now, you know, she's been a real shot. My body is shaking. My heart is beating. I want to be here. Victoria, you have three votes. John, you have three votes. If Mike's vote is for either one of you, then you have one and you are back on campus. Mike, come on up. We have a 3-3 three, three tie. Victoria, John, if either of you gets Mike's vote, you are in. Mike, come on up. I have to say this, there's one thing that I vowed from the very beginning was to always be grateful because this is a blessing for all of us. And I feel that it's my job to be thankful and to pay it forward 
And I want to give somebody a chance that I had that didn't have that same chance. Beautiful Victoria, my vote goes to you. Because you are bound for great things, just like all of us are. And I want to be the first to welcome you to the house. Victoria, you're standing on the wrong side of the room. Why don't you join your new teammates? Go on over. much for bringing her back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful in my heart for everybody who gave me the opportunity. And, I, and from the bottom of my heart, I am so thankful and appreciative. Congratulations. Victoria, you are back in this game. I came that close. You know, fly all the way out here, get all excited, and it was, it was literally that close. One vote away. So, um, very, very disappointing moment, but um, it's, it, it, will, it will all work out. To the rest of you, I know how disappointed all of you must be. But what if I told you there was another way back in this game? What did I tell you? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? Kill the beans. On the first day, this competition, you competed in a challenge to earn a spot on campus. Tonight, you're going to get one more chance. Because right now, you are going to compete in a challenge. And the winner will join Victoria and the rest of the people still competing for a quarter of a million dollars and the grand prize title of The Biggest Loser. A challenge at that moment? It's me and Allie. There's not another person in that room. It's my destiny. It's the thing that gets me back in this house. The step gets me through the front door. I said to myself, I got this. If it's a challenge, I got this. Um, no matter what it is, I'm, I'm going to leave it all out there. So let's get to it. Grab your sweatshirts, follow me. The Daryl that came back today, is a Daryl that's ready for anything. He's done his homework, he's done the woodshed work at the house, he's worked out, he's had his diet. I'm ready. This challenge, bring it on. Walking up to the challenge, I was unsure of what was happening because I saw the names, I saw the lights, but it really wasn't clear what it might be. Well, there have been a lot of ups and downs in this competition, but you haven't seen anything yet. Because for tonight's challenge, all of you eliminated players will compete in an up-down challenge. The first player to 1,000 steps earns a spot back on campus. The rest of you will have to say goodbye for good. So this is it. And I've watched this show a lot. And seeing a step challenge as uh, the only the only way left for me to get back in the house. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a gut wrenching feeling. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready. Honey. Everybody, step up. All I want is the word go. All I can think about is Allie saying go. All right, a thousand steps back into this game. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go, Maria. Miggy's the first oh. one to thirty. I start stepping, and I'm feeling. Really comfortable. I felt energized. I felt comfortable. I felt fine. Lois is at 33. She's two behind Miggy. My strategy is to get ahead of Miggy and stay ahead of her. Because I know, I know that I can stay step with step with Miggy. Every single step is just pain. I mean, there's no cartilage at all in my right knee. It's bone on bone. Honestly, I didn't think I would get more than 25 steps. Melissa's gotten the lead on Miggy. Melissa hits 100. Miggy's at 97. Melissa and I, uh, we bought a hits really bad. The two-pound disadvantage we're going to give to the green team 
Nikki, I knew you would do that. That's all right. Let just, me tell you why. Just it's fine. It. There is some bitter issues between us, and that's not going to change. Melissa's in first place. Miggy's in second. You know, going all the way back to week four, I mean, clearly the green team and the red team just didn't get along. Hey, Allie, just so we're emphatically clear, two pounds didn't make a tonight. Shut up. Don't you do that. Me shut up yeah, after you. all of that? Yeah, me? you. Yeah, yeah. you. is in first place. She's at 300. Miggy's at 295. Sherry in third. I'm about to lose my shoe. My shoe came untied. So I just thought, I gotta kick it off. I gotta go. This is slowing me down. 300 for Sherry, and she takes off her shoe. So then I had one shoe on and one off, and I tried that for a little while, and it's really throwing me off in my balance. Oh, good job. And so the couple of steps, and I'm thinking, okay, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Am I going to... Uh, never mind. I'm just... And I stopped and reached it and just threw the other one off. I'm like, I'll just go at barefoot. I can't slow down. No, I'm after you, Melissa. Ah, I'm coming after you, girl. Come on, Sherry! Come on, Sherry! I'm coming, Melissa. Come I'm after you! Going. I have a chance to be back in the house. I want to beat Melissa. Remember, there is no prize for second place. Only one person gets back in this house. That woman is, she's a, she's a monster. I mean, she's so competitive. I tried to stay just as close as I could. Melissa's found that lead and is holding on to it. Miggy, Sherry, Lance, making her work for it. Everyone's face is showing how exhausting this is. You know, watching the challenge, I was thinking it sucks. Lance just left, Melissa quit, and then Miggy is just a troublemaker. So why would I want those three, you know? Like, that doesn't help me out and it doesn't help the house out. Daryl hits 500. At 500 steps, I was already, oh, how am I going to finish this? I got five, I'm halfway, how am I going to finish this? But with this challenge, the reward outweighs the pain by far. Trina started off strong, but it's starting to wear on everybody. This is hard. <sighs> Melissa finally slowing down. Miggy's stepping it up, finding another gear. She's not giving up without a fight. The game is not over until she's hit the thousand step. I said, I'm not stopping, and I'm a fighter. I'm a warrior, and I will always be. Miggy hit 600. Miggy, show me how much you want this. In my mind, there was no thought of if I make it. In my mind, is I'm making it. This is mine. I know that I'm ahead and I cannot afford to lose the lead. So I have to pay attention to what Miggy's doing. I have to pay attention to what Sherry's doing. Melissa, picking up her pace. She's not gonna let anyone get close. I want it back! <laughs> Melissa's found that lead and is holding on to it. Miggy, Sherry, Lance, making her work for it. This is anyone's game. We're going to a thousand. Melissa, Miggy, neck and neck. All of a sudden, I just felt my chest tighten up and my asthma started acting up. I had no oxygen. I just felt that I was going to pass out. Miggy taking a breather, giving Melissa a chance to get more of a lead. And I felt it just slipping away. And I was like, oh, no, this is not happening. I was hurting, but you've got to work through the pain. If, if what you want is to win, pain doesn't matter. You keep fighting, and that's what I did. All right, Melissa, that's 900. You got 100 left. When I got to 900, I knew I got this. Tell me no. Don't tell me I can't get back on this campus. Don't tell me that I can't fight the fight, because I can and I will. <laughs> I am so proud of her. I mean, it's just, words can't describe how much I love her, how proud I am of her. I mean, it's, I, I love her to death. That's, that's, that's it. 
I cannot believe, I will not accept that there's anybody there that wanted it more than I did. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> but you didn't stop. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people were going to stop. You did very good. It meant a lot to me that my son uh, was so proud of me. I love him so, and he loves me. Congratulations, Melissa. You have won your place in this game. You are back on campus. Thank you. A little bit of business. Both Melissa and Vicky have immunity this week. You both will be here for at least one more week. Congratulations to both of you. Can't wait to see you around campus. To the rest of you, I am sorry to say that it is time for you all to go home. You are still in it. You are the eliminated players competing for the $100,000 at-home prize. So have a look around. Enjoy the competition. You will be seeing each other at the finale. Good job, you guys. All of you are in this. I will see you at the weigh-in. Have a good week. Bye, guys. Thanks, Sally. You know, I fought to get back on this campus, and I intend to stay on this campus. And for me to do that, I've got to work as hard as possible. We're waiting in the gym, and Bob and Jill walk in. Well, look what we have here. <laughs> Look at our kids are growing up, Jillian. Our kids are growing up. Oh, wow, you're back in singles. We're back to singles. Now, it's all about what you do. You don't have a team to protect you. It's all about what you're here for, why you wanted to be here, and how hard you're going to push yourself out of the box to stay here. Good to see you. You know, singles brings a whole different set of issues into the house. All the alliances start to go haywire, and all of a sudden, it's really game on, and people are getting closer to the end of this, and it gets a little more cutthroat, and insecurities come out, and you really start to see people's true colors when it's singles. Lance went home, obviously, from the elimination, but that doesn't mean that there is no more red team. Come on in. Here's Melissa in the gym, red shirt on, everyone's all happy hugging. All I gotta say is, now that Melissa's back in this house, it's gonna keep everybody else in that house on their toes. Oh, what happened? It was a challenge. A thousand steps. Wow. But you know what? We're not done. Look. I'm here! It was a challenge. A thousand steps. Wow. But you know what? We're not done. Look. Mm -hmm. I'm here! Victoria walked in. It was unbelievable. And this girl never had a chance here. And now she does. You finally get your chance here. <laughs> it felt like suddenly the world was right again. What did you have to do to get in? They voted what me on. What happened? <laughs> you they, did? <laughs> they voted me on. That's good. Victoria got voted in. These people in our house, they're that good. Victoria could be a threat in this house. That's not what these people were thinking about. It's like they gave Victoria a gift. And let me tell you, Victoria deserved that gift. Okay. So, singles. Right, so I think it gets very interesting with singles because now it's all about what you do. It's all about the efforts that you put in every single day. When we're here, yeah. when we're not here, it's the drive that is inside of each and every one of you that will decide who's going to be the next biggest loser. Okay, so guys, everybody jump on a machine. Let's get this party started. Oh, come on. Let's go, Vicky. Ten, nine. Oh, 
poor little thing has been here five minutes and is wondering what happened to it. I mean, I have immunity this week, but Jillian, she kicks my butt. You know, she took full advantage to butter me up, to get me excited, to think that everything was going to be okay, and then she, you know, proceeds to kick in my, you know what. Right then I knew, you know what, I'm happy to be here, but this is going to be, this is going to be work. Sink down, lower. Go. Singles up in this house again. It's all about what you put into your time. It is what it is. There's 11 people now, and it doesn't get in my way, though. I'm still going to be Final Four. It's just two more people. It makes the weeks longer. But at the end of the day, I know I'm going to be in the Final Four, so it's just more people to play with, I guess. Three, <laughs> two, push-ups, go, three of them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I got two daughters in the house. I, I really do. In the fairness of competition, I want them two to push each other right to the top. Seven. No, no, no. You get to be the best by pushing through the pain. Two. One. Five more jump squats. Five. I feel like this game is survival of the fittest. And if you can't survive, you go home. Why now are we bringing back people who got separated from the pack? That sucks. That's horrible. I don't like it. And my hope is that, you know, they'll be the first two to go. Whole push-up position. Lift your right leg up off the ground. Right leg up. Just having Melissa back is just, is, it's just annoying to me. When she was here last, it was obvious she was the game player. She gained one pound when she had immunity. The week after that, she had immunity again. She only lost one pound. I don't want her here. I really don't. With two people back in the ranch, it's time to go, go after and just kill it. I don't want anyone to feel like they can hang. I don't want anyone to feel like uh, they're in the same week. I'm ready to make big moves, power moves, boss man moves. That's all I can do right now. Two, stay down, stay down. Knees in, out, in, out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, lower drag, lift, lift. One, two, three, four. Everyone going balls out, go as fast as you can, go. Let's go! Four, three, two. Ha, 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 go! And one, release, release. Hey guys. Hey Bob. Victoria, what are you making over here? You know, I have a little whole wheat pasta with a little shrimp and some um, green beans. Okay, first of all, you're making a lot of it. I thought it would be smart just to cook my food for the week. Let's give me the food breakdown right now. You got whole wheat pasta, so with, that's right. a good source of what? Uh, carbs. Good source of complex carbs right. and fiber. Okay. Okay. You got tomatoes in there. Definitely. It's a good source of lycopene. Mm -hmm. I like that. You got vegetables. You got some greens in there. Oh, yeah. So you're hitting all your food groups. That's really good. So this is a trick that you can learn at home, too. Okay. I'm listening. Especially everyone with busy schedules, you can, like, fix up your food for the week, right? Okay. And now you need to put it in something. These Ziploc freezer bags, these are really good because this has the smart zip seal. Okay. What that means is you don't have just one little protection here. This is double protection. So when you put your food in here, it's going to be lasting for a while, too. That sounds good. All right, so when you're done cooking, we're going to put these in the, in the bag. Okay. With the shrimp, with the whole wheat pasta, and the tomato sauce that you're doing, and the green beans, mm -hmm. for a cup, I'm going to say 160. Okay, let me help you. There we go. We'll put that in the bag. Boom. Smart zip. Right? How's it taste? Good. Good. Really good. Okay. Definitely. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the freezer for you. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'm bored. Are you? Yeah, and everybody's sneaking away, burning calories and sneaking oh, away. Where are they? See, there's Melissa. She's walking. Get it, Melissa! She's skinny. She's tiny. Like, is it the finale? She looks good. Let's just say the nine of us have become very competitive already without the two people back. Things in the house are changing. I'm changing, like, as far as my relationships with everyone. It's getting more stressful around here, and that's a scary feeling. Hello, Hi. Do you want to talk? Yes. About what? 
about all the stuff happening in the house. I'm like living here with Steph, and I don't know, I just feel like sometimes she is just trying to make sure that I would never vote for her, and sometimes it doesn't feel genuine, you know? Yeah, but I told you from the get that you can trust her. No, we've, we have had, like, a really close relationship. That's why it's hard for me to, like, think that, you know? I think everybody sees something that, you know, you might be blinded by. I mean, then there was, like, a couple weeks ago, she pulls a two. But it's also the week that your mom's on the chopping block. It's like the lesser of two evils, and it's without a sherry. And the week after, she has a nine. And it's like, well, you know, she's never had a nine here. I'm not going to say she threw the way in, but it looks like it, you know? Yeah. Like, she was playing the game since then. I have no concrete evidence on anything. But the thing is, is I just wouldn't put it past her. Well, you know, like, I've gone back and forth about her. But what was your first instinct? That I probably couldn't trust her. Whether you can trust her or not, at the end of the day, it's about you, Ash. It's about you and what you need to do to be in that final four. Is that friendship better for you, or is it you on your own better? I personally don't trust her. Everybody has good reason not to, but you gotta figure that out for yourself. Now I'm second guessing everything in the past. Like, is it genuine or not? Thank you. So if it is the case that Stephanie threw the way in to get rid of my mother, then I want her gone. And who's ready to walk? <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Shay from Season 8. I'm here with United Healthcare workers exercising and pledging our weight loss in support of the Pound for Pound Challenge. We're volunteering at the Second Harvest Food Bank of Orange County and encouraging others by participating in our Walk a Mile event. You guys ready? Yeah! Let's go! Knowing that a health and wellness organization like United Healthcare is behind this Pound for Pound Challenge, it's really huge. It's all about helping people live healthier lifestyles and having Shay here brings our volunteers and Pound for Pound Challenge together in a really meaningful way. Find out what you can do to support a healthier and happier you and a healthier and happier community. Every pound counts. So go on the website today, pledge your pounds, and let's feed America. Thus far, over 4.7 million pounds have been pledged. So come on, America, start your own exercise program at your office, with your community, or with your family. Join me in shedding those pounds. There's never been a more important time to take action. Pledge and help feed America. I'm Allison Sweeney, live from the Biggest Loser Ranch, and this is Wayne. He once weighed 674 pounds. Later tonight, we are going to put him on the scale live. History will be made. I can't wait for you to see this incredible transformation, so don't go away. Last chance workout. Individuals this week. Nothing stopping you except yourself. never leaves there that foot never touches here we're back to being singles now Jillian and I are back training together so it's up to us to really pound these guys into the ground for last chance workout that's it last chance workout let's go last chance workout. <laughs> ten nine eight seven six five that's it now you just go for a ride with it Pop, pop, go again. One, one, two, again. Go, go, go. Last chance workout. <laughs> O'Neal, you're amazing, O'Neal. It's almost boring to see you just keep defeating this. Vic, come here. Come here, you little monster. I hope that everything I've done at home has prepared me for my first last chance workout. Up, 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 up. Good. No, 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 no. You know, Jill wants to show what she's made of, and it's my time of reckoning. I want to see smoke coming out of that treadmill. Drive the leg back behind you. Harder. That is not fast enough, Vicky. Last chance. Workout! No, you don't get to stop when it hurts. That's not how it works here. Go. Two. One. Good. 
Hey, Uncle, can you just come off for a minute? I want to work on these steps with you. During the last chance workout, all I wanted to do was get that O'Neill and go, you get over here. We're walking up and down these stairs. No. Bob really wants me to conquer these stairs. <sighs> the stairs have been a thorn in my side for 15 or 20 years. What I want you to think about, O'Neill, is I want you to think about your abdominal strength holding you up. I want it to feel like a girdle around you, okay? Yep. The more you keep your stomach pulled in tight and your shoulders up, your legs are going to be lighter naturally from that because all of a sudden your whole body's been activated, right? I haven't been able to take one stair at a time to go up. I just I haven't been able to do it. So take that and go up the stairs. That's how you're going to be walking up to the way in. <laughs> Bob is so important to me and what he's done for me since I've been at this ranch. He started from the inside out. Changes come and go. But when you make an indelible mark on someone's heart, that's what lasts forever. Okay. <laughs> you the man, Bob. Steph, come here. Hands on it. Here, whip the sides. Good. Go back into a plank. Drop your tush. 30 seconds. Lock those on. Breathe. You're falling apart on me here, kid. What is going on? Five, four, three, two, one. Plank position. Walk it towards the door. Go, 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 go. Ass down. Come on, go. Get up. Jillian, I swear to God. Get up. Get up, Steph. Get up. Get up. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am dead from my bottom below, like... No, you're not. No, that is not what's going on. Sit down for a second. What's happening? What is happening here? I swear I am giving all of myself, Jillian, and I'm sorry if it's not good enough. Come on, Stephanie. Don't look at me like you don't know what I'm talking about and your legs hurt. I'm scared. I feel scared that I will go home, not on my terms. S Steph, you, you try to control things. You, you feel so out of control in your own life that you try to control everything around you. And whether you know it or not, you are alienating yourself in the house with these people. You're projecting things that are not so. You see this pattern at all? Sure. You don't. No, I do. Steph, the more you try to control something, the more it's going to be out of your control. You know, I'm sick of playing this act with her that nothing's wrong because she's catching on that I'm acting different and something is definitely wrong. And so I decide that I'm going to have to talk to her about it, no matter how difficult the conversation's going to be. What's going on? Um, I know you've noticed that I've been, like, kind of standoffish. Yeah, but you said you were just tired. And I am, and I am tired, and I am really focused right now, like, honestly. But, like, there's just, I just feel like right now, I have to be completely honest that That's I fine. can't trust you right now. Why? It was brought to my attention that there's a possibility that the weigh-in could have been thrown that sent my mom home. That I threw it? I don't know. And Are you being serious? Mm -hmm. Why would I throw a weigh-in, number one? Number two, why would I do it with people who are the, cl the only people close to me? All I can do is we have been friends from the beginning, and if you say you didn't do it, then I have to believe I you. <laughs> I like, I still am kind of, like, in awe that this is even like a conversation that we're having because it sounds that ridiculous to me. Know that 
like what we have is real, like I would never. No, don't. No, because that's not cool. But like that was one of the hardest nights for me. I know. Your mom looked at me in the eyes and said like, basically like, you're not voting for me, are you? Like I didn't want any of us to go. And I want you to know that, and I need you to believe that. And if you don't, then that's a problem. This is, like, stressful. Because I put all my trust in people, and maybe I put, like, way too much trust in people. I know who I am. I know how I want to be perceived on this game and how I want to be in this game. So whoever tried to instill a rift between us, like, I'm not having it. And you're not having I didn't it. want to, like, make you upset, you know, like... Well, it breaks my heart. I know, I didn't want to do that. Like, I would never. Are we good? Yes. Swear? Swear. Peaky. And I'm just going to ask you, was it you? No. Who? Okay. I, I have heard it, though. From the same person or from... No, it's... I don't, it's not been like one person saying it. It was like, in a group, it was a question that was brought up. Like, do you think Stephanie threw the way in last week was how it threw in? I never, that's not me. I don't even think about things like that. Like, but I just have been noticing more like your focus on the game lately. And it's, it makes me nervous. Like, you know, when you decided to vote for the lowest person percentage wise the other day, to me, that was a, an extreme gameplay move. Oh my god, I thought he is 400 pounds. He has lost like 80 pounds. Like, James needs help. Why would that be gameplay? Because then they have no chance of winning. Well, I need to clear this up. That's where I've been like, I don't think I can do this. You don't express these things to us, you know? So it's hard for us to understand, like, that part of you, you know? This is a side we've never, we've not really got to see a lot of. If you opened up more, and we heard this kind of stuff, then maybe I could be like, no, that's not Stephanie. She wouldn't do that. I just need to know if, you know, we're okay. We're okay. This is good, though, that we know this now. Because it totally changes everything. I love you. I am extremely worried about the yellow line. Now that we're in singles, I am literally relying on myself. It's been a very stressful week. I emotionally hit a brick wall with rumors that impacted me and, and legitimately hurt my feelings. And the last time I had a stressful week, I lost two pounds. This week marks a major turning point. From now on, you are 100% on your own. No partner, no teammate, it's just you. And if that wasn't enough, your past has come back to haunt you. Victoria and Melissa, and they have immunity tonight. And now it's time to get you all on that scale. Victoria, we'll start with you, your first end of week weigh-in. <gasps> This is my first weigh-in at the ranch, and I'm super excited because every other morning I got up and went to my living room and weighed on my own scale. So now I get to do the official Biggest Loser rolling numbers thing. When you first started this competition, weighed 358 pounds. You weighed in at the beginning of the week, it was 285 pounds. Your current weight is... pounds is is weight loss but it's definitely not enough so i gotta kick it into the next gear for this week and um i'm ready all right thanks victoria, <laughs> victoria you lost two pounds this week giving you a total percentage of weight loss of 0.7 percent since you have immunity we are going to take your name off the scoreboard congratulations victoria you will be here for one more week next it is time to weigh in melissa walking up to the scale and the last time I was on that scale I went home I, I can't get that plus one out of my head 
as long as it doesn't have a plus, I don't care what that number is. Just no pluses. Well, so when you started this competition, you weighed 233 pounds. At the beginning of the week, you weighed in at 182 pounds. Your current weight is. Time to kick it in high gear and lose some weight for next week. Congratulations, Melissa. Good work. <laughs> Melissa, you lost four pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.2%. But, Melissa, you have immunity. So we're going to take your name off that scoreboard. Now it is time to find out how everyone else did. Because two people will fall below that yellow line. One person is going home tonight. Lanelle, are you ready to climb up on that scale tonight? Bob's been working with me this week in stairs. Here I am in my 50s, and I still have a hard time climbing the stairs because of my knee injury. He said, O'Neal, when you take small steps, eventually something big will happen. O'Neal, I just can't wait. I have to see all the work you put in with Bob. Come on, it's your turn to get up on that scale. As I'm getting ready to walk up the scale, I'm starting to get a little nervous. I don't know what's going to happen with my knee. It may lock up on me. Remember, keep your abs in strong, shoulders back, okay. slow and controlled. You're in no rush. We'll be here all night. You just go as slow as you need to. I'm looking right at the stairs, and suddenly, those stairs seem 10 feet tall. O'Neal, it's your turn to get up on that scale. This is such a big moment for O'Neal. I'm really nervous about this one. I'm here for you, O'Neal, but this is all you. I gotta tell you, O'Neal gliding up those stairs was such a great thing to see because that's what we've been working on. O'Neal is taking ownership of his body again. He's come so far. He just ran up those steps. I'm so proud of you, Dad. <laughs> I love you. Thanks, baby. Love you. You look good. <laughs> I am so proud for my daughter to be proud of me of climbing steps. And I'll look anyone in the eye and tell them how happy I was for her to be happy for me for climbing steps. O'Neal, when you first started this competition, you weighed 389 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 295 pounds. Your current weight is. Obviously disappoints you. Very disappointing, to say the least. But you know what, though, I'm not gonna even that that shape ain't my shame. I mean that that that's not me. I'm I'm so happy with accomplishments I made today that I got to take with me a lifetime of changes. This is that's monumental, and I'll take that forward with the changes I made this week. All right, O'Neal. Thank you. O'Neal, you lost four pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.36%. O'Neal, we have eight people left to weigh in. We'll just have to wait and see. Next, we are going to weigh in Ashley. Walking up the scale, I definitely was stressed out all week, and I hear about a conspiracy theory with Stephanie, who's one of my best friends here, and I know what stress does to us here on the ranch. It makes you not have a big number on the scale. When you first started this competition, you weighed 374 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 276. You are just two pounds from breaking the 100-pound mark. So, Ashley, let's see if you did it. Your current weight is...
Congratulations, Ashley. You lost five pounds, so you officially did it. You broke through the 100-pound mark. Next is another 100. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Ashley's waking up in this house. Let me tell you, this is the girl that was just trying to skate by all the time, and now all of a sudden she's like, you know what? I want to go all the way, and you can see it in her eyes. Ashley, you lost five pounds this week, giving you a total percentage of weight loss of 1.81%. Next, we're going to weigh in Michael. It's your turn to get on that scale. Michael, when you started this competition, you weighed 526 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 389 pounds. Michael, your current weight is... 8 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.06%. Congratulations, Michael. With two people below you, you are definitely safe from elimination. Cole, you're next. Walking up the scale, I'm, no, I'm thinking 8, 9, 10. That's been what I've been, you know, I've been averaging 9s and 10s. And to be quite honest, I've worked out harder this week than I have any other week. Cole, when you first started this competition, you weighed 403 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 287. In order to stay safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than five pounds. Your current weight is... I'm happy that I'm still here for another week on the ranch, but I want bigger numbers. You lost six pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.09%. Congratulations, Coley. You are definitely safe and here for one more week. Next, we're going to weigh in Drea. You seem extremely nervous tonight. My heart is racing so fast. I'm just trying to control my breathing. <laughs> Ray, when you first started this competition, you weighed 298 pounds. Your previous weight was 232 pounds. In order to guarantee your safety, you need to have lost more than four pounds. Your current weight is... Your previous weight was 232 pounds. In order to guarantee your safety, you need to have lost more than four pounds. Your current weight is. I feel really good about that. I can do this, you know, Allison. Yes, you can, Drea. Congratulations. Thank you. You lost five pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.16%. Puts you at the top of the scoreboard. Darius. Darius, when you started this competition, you weighed 346 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 244. In order to guarantee your safety for one more week, you need to have lost more than four pounds. Your current weight is... I came here to go all the way, and that's what my plan is. And... Seven pounds is going to do that this week. You sure is? Thanks, sir. Seven pounds isn't my most impressive number, but I have lost 109 pounds, and I'm leading the house percentage-wise. I feel pretty good about that. Might as well keep going. Darius, you lost seven pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.87%. Congratulations, Darius. You are now leading the scoreboard, and you are definitely safe from elimination. Next, we are going to weigh in Sam. I'm just really confident going up to the scale this time. 
I'm not gonna get mad at any number I see because I'm proud of myself. I'm seriously proud of the hard work I put in. So whatever number shows itself to me, I'm fine. Sam, when you started this competition, you weighed 372 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 264 pounds. In order to guarantee your safety, you need to have lost more than four pounds. Your current weight is. I work so hard, I, I keep my nutrition on point. I can't be mad at myself. Unc, what you said up here, thank you. Because we can't let these egos, these, these things get in the way of what we're doing here. And that, that was a great moment for me to hear you say that because that's all I wanted to hear from you. Because you work hard. And that four it doesn't determine the person that you are. And that two does not determine me either. Because I work hard. I'll take it. I'll take it every time. Thank you, Sam. Yeah. You lost two pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 0.76%. O'Neal, Sam, with two people left to weigh in, you are still in danger of falling below the yellow line. Next, we're going to weigh in Sunshine. It's my turn to weigh in. Finally, like, I'm, I'm a wreck right now. I'm freaking out. I can't have a bad week. That can't be me right now. I know I've worked hard. I know, like, I've seen myself in the final four. So I just got to keep that in mind. Sometime when you started this competition, you weighed 275 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 208 pounds. And to stay safe from elimination, you need to have lost more than two pounds. Sunshine, your current weight is. a good number for me. I'm, I'm going to be happy with the six. Feel good. <laughs> and you're going to be happy here on campus for one more week. Congratulations. Yes, Thank you. That girl busts her ass every day. Sunshine's a soldier. <laughs> it's like, I don't say that about many people, but Sunshine is a soldier. This week you lost six pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.88%. Which puts you in first place, Sunshine, with one person left to weigh in. Congratulations. Sam, with only one person left to weigh in, you are definitely below the yellow line and up for elimination tonight. Damn, I'm below the yellow line. I'm still having a proud moment, but at the same time, it's like, this could be it. So it is either O'Neal or Stephanie who will fall below the yellow line with you and one person is going home tonight. I'm not okay. Like, my victory that I just felt so excited about and so happy about is gone. I pushed my dad close to that yellow line, and there's one person left to weigh in. Stephanie. Steph's had a rough week. She's at odds with people in the house. It's just gone to singles. She had a big number last week, which puts her in jeopardy this week. I'm concerned for sure. Stephanie, when you first started this competition, you weighed 264 pounds. Last week, you weighed in at 199 pounds. In order to make sure you are here for one more week, you need to have lost more than two pounds. Stephanie, your current weight is... to make sure you are here for one more week. You need to have lost more than two pounds. Your current weight is. This week was really um, tough on me. 
internal things going on, trying to figure out who I am, feeling that I was not good enough. And then last night, just when I flipped around after a talk with Jillian, you know, I found out that there was a lot of speculation and discussion that I threw the way in. The week I lost two pounds, that is not my character, that is not who I am. It hurt when I lost two pounds and it hurts now and it's the worst position I could ever be in here. But I'm proud of what I've done here and I know who I am. And those who love and know me know who I am. I lost a pound. Not good enough, but it's good. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Stephanie, in 11 weeks, you have lost 66 pounds. You lost one pound this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 0.5%. Congratulations, O'Neill. You are safe. You are above that yellow line, and you will be here for one more week. Sam, Stephanie, I'm sorry to tell you both that you have fallen below the yellow line, and one of you is going home tonight. Bob, Jillian, it's time to say goodnight. you have both fallen below that yellow line. Unfortunately, it is up to the rest of you to make the decision who will stay and who leaves campus tonight. So, I will see you in the elimination room with your decision. After the weigh-in was over and we had to walk back to the house, felt like I was walking on eggshells. If I made a wrong step or a wrong word, like it would break something. I just want to say, what I said up on the scale, I meant with all heart. And that's all I've ever spoken about, is just with all heart. I can't trash the person I've fallen below the yellow line with to make myself look better. But you keep me here, and it will keep you working. Darius, you want to talk about steel sharp and steel? I'm here, and I, will, I, I promise I will get you better every week sunshine same thing because that's all i know how to do that's all i know how to do is work i'm not ready to go i may not win all the challenges i may not be your steel but my whole problem this week has been i thought i had people that i'm so close to not know me. I mean, I want to be here. And that's all I miss. I'm really close with Sam, but at the same time, like, Steph's my girl. And I can't see sending her home right now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I do, but I go back and forth. A lot of people in the house have already known that Steph has been, you know, playing a little games here and there. So when she got emotional and, and saying this and that, it just, it didn't affect me because I just have no remorse for you. You, you, you tried playing the game and it didn't work out. Tough luck. No amount of emotional plea is ever going to change my mind. Once you've done something shady, I, you know, that's, that's the person you are to me. Um, and I can't, I, I can't have people like that around me. Coming up, the biggest loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club is changing lives. You want to re-energize your workout? Check out the Street Strider. It's a revolutionary indoor-outdoor elliptical. That's a great workout. I never knew burning calories could be so much fun. Go to BiggestLoser.com now. Walking through elimination tonight is the hardest elimination I've ever had to do here. It's the most emotional and it's the most personal. I wish I didn't have to go. I wish I didn't have to pull that lid off the tray. I would rather just not have a boat. 
This was a bad week in a lot of ways, but it doesn't mean I want to walk away. It doesn't mean I want out. It means that I want to fight that much harder. This really could be it. This could be the end of my time here. It's truthfully up to the house at this time. It's my time, it's my time. So this is your first elimination as individuals. Each of you had to cast a vote and you had to make that decision by yourselves. We're gonna start with you, Coley. I think there's a lot of question here. Family first. That's one vote for you, Stephanie. Melissa? I thought about who has the tools necessary to finish at home and who needs to be here a little bit longer. And based on that, my vote is for Sam. Okay, Sam, that's one vote for you. Stephanie, you have one vote. Sunshine. So, um, it's definitely a tough vote tonight. Um, the both of you two have been so helpful to me my whole journey here. My very first workout, you know, Steph was with me on that ladder, you know, helping me out. And uh, since then, like, Sam, you've just, you've been so inspiring, like, to everyone here, especially me. Um, you drive me, you push me. And in this game, I feel like that's what I need. And um, with that being said, my boat tie is for Stephanie. Stephanie, that's two votes for you. Sam, you have one vote. It takes five votes to be eliminated. Drea. Tonight is really the first time that I've thought about myself in this, in the voting, what's going to keep me here the longest. So tonight, my vote is for All right, that's three votes. You'll need five. Sam, you have one vote. Darius. I want people here that are going to keep me going. Sam pushes me. That is why I'm glad. Steel sharpens steel. I voted for Stephanie. Stephanie, that's four votes. If you receive one more vote, Stephanie, you will be eliminated. Sam, you have one vote. very difficult for me because I care deeply about both of them but I have changed a lot <sighs> so I had to think of myself for the first time <sighs> and although you have encouraged me I need Sam here to push me. Are you surprised? Yes. This week showed me a lot about myself, but it showed me that there are a lot of game players. I can't take it personally, but I am shocked. I'm saddened. But it's a game. In this week, there was a lot of speculation that I was game playing. And if I'm the person I say I am, and I have a thing with wanting to know, wanting to control, wanting to feel, you know, secure and comfortable in my friendships. And I really let my guard down here and became vulnerable. And it's okay if my feelings get hurt right now. Because that's not what this is about. This is about their journey. So, let's keep going. All right. Stephanie, with five votes, I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser, and it's time for you to go. Okay. So, let's say goodbye. I betrayed a good friend. And I sent a good friend home that has encouraged me and 
supported me through this whole thing. When I've had bad times, she's been there. But I just pray that she understands. So we're at White House Black Market today, getting a dress for my party tonight, my 30th birthday. And I'm really excited to go shopping and get a whole new outfit. That could be really fun. Shopping now is completely night and day from where it was, you know, months ago before doing The Biggest Loser. And I was a size 20, and now I'm down to a size 12. You know, I shop to fit now. I shop for what fits well and makes me feel beautiful from the inside out. All right, we want to see what you have. Here's the first one. Wow. <gasps> wonderful walking into that party tonight and I know getting my outfit and accessories here I'll go that way coming out you know I started this journey with my mom we decided to change our life and I had a dream that I could finally do something about this that's been haunting me for way too long and thus far I've lost 96 pounds and I feel wonderful and able to do so much more I fell in love and you know I just feel like I'm gonna be an overall just happier woman you know, at this point, I have, you know, my mom who's healthy, my family who's thriving, and, you know, my friends who are so supportive. And ultimately, I feel like I have everything. And, and I am so thankful, so blessed, and so happy. And it's all because of The Biggest Loser. So thank you, Biggest Loser. America, you are about to witness an event of epic proportions, live. A little more than two years ago, Wayne weighed 674 pounds. Inspired by this show, he set out to make a change all on his own. So let's see what he looks like today. Welcome, Wayne. <laughs> Wayne, you look fantastic. Thanks. How did you do it? Well, the doctors didn't really give me much, you know, time to live when I was in the hospital, weighing that big. Um, so you went home? So I went home, was in a wheelchair bound. Um, I was caught an episode of The Biggest Loser. I thought, man, this is great. You know, so I did what they did, and the lifestyle of The Biggest Loser has changed me forever. <laughs> so what was the one thing that we said? What did Bob say? What did Jillian say? What happened? Um, Bob had said to me that you don't always need a gym to work out. You can do it at home. Just walk. Walking is free. And you walked. And I walked. <laughs> well... We're so thrilled to be a part of this, and we can't wait to weigh you in and see what the numbers say. Okay, so when you first started your weight loss journey, you weighed 674 pounds. Wayne, I can't even believe it. I know. Your current weight is? <laughs> 256, you lost 418 pounds. Oh. Amazing. Well, we are so thrilled for you, and we have a present for you, a surprise. You are going to go to the Biggest Loser Resort at Fitness Ridge to continue your amazing journey, and we're going to see you at the finale in May. So congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. It's the only show where less is more. Take a peek at the next new Biggest Loser on NBC.
These people are still not in gameplay. Everybody wants to be friends. Are you crazy? The first player to lose more than 2% of their body weight wins immunity with the simple push of a button. I want immunity, and I'm going to get it. I want her gone. Melissa likes to play this game. This game can bite you in the... Someone hit the button. Already? Boom, boom.